Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss our topic the sprint retrospective. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in Scrum framework and you want to learn about it. So let's start. Uh, sprint retrospective is basically a event in the Scrum framework which is based on the concept of agile project management approach. Friend, sprint retrospective it takes place at the end of every sprint and provides the scrum team with an opportunity to reflect on the just concluded sprint and uh, basically the purpose of sprint retrospective is to postmortem the session that what work has been completed so what are the things which have been completed uh, positively and what are the things which needs to be improved uh, here the positive things should be continued and the negative things should not be continued uh, friend remember that the sprint retrospective is not a, any uh, blame game session in which we uh, have to blame someone basically it's a continuous improvement session in which once the sprint completed and uh, the review uh, the demonstration of the work of the sprint has been uh, provided to the stakeholders especially customer and product owner so after the sprint review meeting the uh, the sprint retrospective session held in which the uh, main stakeholder discussed that what are the things which needs to be improved and what are the things which went well as well so uh, basically the sprint retrospective follows the sprint review and proceeds the next sprint planning so first thing is the timing and frequency. And the sprint retrospective is held at and at the end of each sprint and generally it uh, it is of uh, three hours for a one month sprint in which basically we discuss the things which has, should have to be improved. Participants uh, participants for this sprint retrospective meetings are scrum development team like software developers, uh, engineers, designers, the product owner who is basically the custodian of the uh, requirements of feature sets, scrum master who is basically the custodian uh, or who is basically the facilitator for the scrum and the development team members. So the basically the core team, a product owner, scrum development team and the uh, scrum master basically participated in this sprint retrospective session. Friend objective, the primary goal of the sprint retrospective is to inspect that how the sprint well. Like for example you have completed a module, ABC module for a software. Then uh, during the sprint review meeting you demonstrate the work, the scrum development team uh, demonstrate the work which has been completed to the uh, stakeholder, especially to the customer. And they have given, they have provided their feedback about the work which has been completed. So after the uh, demonstration, so the core team member like product owner, scrum master, development team, they basically sit together and they just review that what went well. Uh, what are the opportunities for improvement and it focuses on the process and the teamwork rather than the product itself. So basically uh, this session is focused on the on the process actually. It is not focusing on the working software which has been reviewed by the, uh, the uh, basically the customer. Then sprint retrospective agenda set the stage means the scrum master opens the retrospective session by explaining the purpose of the meeting and creating a positive and a collaborative environment here remember friend one thing that in these sorts of sessions many times it happens that it becomes a heated session that means everyone is blaming to each other so here the scrum master role is that to uh, just to uh, cool down the things and uh, basically the main purpose is that the session should be good as well Gather data means that, uh, for example, if whatever the data which has been gathered, including positive, negative aspects from the customer, from the stakeholder, like any feedback forms, any uh, any feedback. So this phase may involve gathering data through various techniques like timelines, feedbacks, metrics. For example, burn down chart, uh, the project timelines, the feedback which has been received. So first, we have to gather the data from different stakeholder. Then generate insights means that basically based on the gathered data, the insights has been generated. Like what are the patterns, what are the trends, what is the insight. So this phase involved discussing what worked well and what could be improved here as well. 
then decide what to do that means once you have the insight about based on the data you can uh, basically uh, take the decisions that means the team collaboratively decides on actionable items or changes to implement in next sprint this phase aims at continuous improvement as well here friend remember that once you have the right data you have the right insights so then you can take the right decisions as well then close the retrospective means the scrum master who is basically the facilitator who is basically the person who has the scrum knowledge uh, that conclude the retrospective session and summarizing the key take takeaways action items which needs to be uh, taken as well then key principles for sprint retrospective first one is the open communication means that the uh, retrospective session should be open communication means that uh, the scrum team all the team members should be openly should be upfrontly uh, can describe their thoughts their feelings and their opinion as well there should not be any pressure there should not be any uh, problem in uh, in discussing the thoughts then continuous improvement means the focus is basically improving the process uh, making concrete plans to implement changes in the next sprint then positive reinforcement means that the uh, the there should be a positive energy among the team members it's important to acknowledge and celebrate the success and positive aspects of the sprint here uh, obviously it is not necessary that the things should definitely uh, always be a negative if there are positive things it should be continued it should be celebrated as well output the main output of this sprint retrospective is the action items or improvement strategies which should be followed in the next sprint okay like for we know that uh, sprint is a three to four week time period in which we have to plan develop deploy the things so these action items may be related to the team's progress process communication collaboration and any aspect that can enhance their effectiveness then uh, follow up actions uh, friend, the action items identified during the uh, sprint retrospective are incorporated into the upcoming sprint planning session. Sprint planning means that once we are starting the uh, sprint, we have to uh, conduct the sprint planning session in which these different stakeholders like Scrum Master, Product Owner, Development Team, they sit together and decide what tasks which they are going to do in the uh, in the next upcoming sprint. So the action items which has been decided decided in the pre in the sprint retrospective session will become a part in the sprint planning meeting in which they will be discussed and follow up as well that what is the progress uh, on the action items as well if there is any action needs to be taken it should be taken accordingly as well the uh, scrum team continuously adopts its processes based on the feedback and insights gained from retrospective here friend um, important thing is that the things are improving uh, after every sprint retrospective sessions so a uh, friend sprint retrospective is a valuable practice for fostering a culture of continuous improvement within the scrum team leading to increased efficiency and satisfaction over time thank you